Munich, Germany, November 24th, 2017. I just uh, left that church. Today we're gonna head into uh, Nymphenburg uh, Palace. We're gonna go check that out right now. And we're waiting on Uber, so we're gonna head out that way. I don't know if you guys can see, but seven minutes away it says. Come on, yeah. Georgie? Yeah. How you doing? Guys, by the way, welcome to another video. I didn't do an intro, a proper intro for this video. We are here at the home of the Duke of Bavaria. We're at the Nymphenburg Palace. Check it out, right behind me. It's massive. And uh, we're gonna see, I hope I can come in with my camera. Go in there, there's the Gallery of Beauties, I believe it's called. I don't know too much about the place. I just found out about this. So I wanted to come check it out. And learn more about it. And learn more about it, yep. So we're gonna show you guys a little bit of this beautiful landmark here in Munich. So let's go inside. Okay guys, we finally made it in. Uh, as I go along with this video, I'll try to give you guys the most info I can as far as tips uh, when you come visit here. For example, as you come in to the uh, palace, you come into the right, you'll be at the Marstall uh, Museum, which is a, a museum of the carriages and sleighs and here's the ticket office and right now for an adult for the combination ticket is what I got is uh, 850 euros children under I believe but anyways you get your ticket there and uh, that ticket covers everything you can see in the winter time which is uh, the the palace and the museums uh, they have a separate uh, price for uh, the summertime I believe it's 1150 but there's more more things are open during the summer Got this coach. Look at the detail on that thing. By the way, guys, uh, this was made back in Paris, and it's made of all wood. It's car carved out all wood. It has that gold plating on it. I was just sitting here looking at all the the details. I wish I could get closer so you guys could really see what I'm talking about. But it's pretty impressive how they carve all this wood out and get all these details. Y'all didn't know that's where the dad was invented back in the day. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys that I'm all into sleighs and coaches and all that, but this stuff is really interesting, man. The whole history behind it. I'm gonna head upstairs and check out the porcelain museum and then get to the actual main palace, which is what I wanna go see. What they have up here is a collection of uh, Nymphenburg uh, porcelain that dates from a collection from the 18th century to the 20th century. And uh, right outside here, you can see where we were just at. We're gonna, we're gonna head that way now. In case you're wondering, this is the riding equipment of Maximilian I of Bavaria. History. 
Okay guys, so in case you're wondering, this palace was built in 1664 and Ferdinand Maria of Bavaria and his wife had an Italian architect named Agostino Barelli design and build this palace for them. So this dates back to 1664 and later on it was extended obviously. Guys, I'm in here in the Great Hall of the Nuremberg Palace. Check out the ceiling up here. Wow, it's massive in here. Hey you guys, remember I told you uh, the founders of this building are right up there, Ferdinand Maria and his wife. That's the painting of them right there. We're in the Gallery of the Beauties and basically from 1826 to 1850, King Ludwig I had an artist by the name of Joseph Steeler paint 36 paint portraits of women of all social classes, all the way from a shoemaker's daughter to the one of the kings or a king's daughter. And those are the pictures that you see, the portraits that you see up on the walls. All right, so we're in the queen's bedroom and this is the original furnishings of this room. And this is where King Ludwig II was born. So as you walk around the palace, in the main palace, you'll notice different variety styles from ranging from uh, Baroque style to Rococo to Neoclassicism all around the uh, main palace. Uh, you see it in the decoration and stuff like that. But right now we're gonna go into the back and check out the, uh, the back gardens because we're losing daylight really fast. So we're gonna move out there right now. All right, we're at the back of the uh, palace here. You can see the back of the pavilion there. That's where the great hall was at, where we were just in. So this is very long. We're not gonna be able to make it all the way down there, but we are gonna walk down to the water here and take a look. It's a beautiful day here in Munich today. A rarity, I understand, because it's in it's like 60 degrees today. But nevertheless, a beautiful day. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's probably a long one. I'm gonna try to keep it short as possible, but uh, that's gonna do it for this one. We're gonna head out. Uh, as you guys can see back here in the uh, back in the garden area, they, they're working on it, the landscape and all that. The fountain was uh, drained and stuff like that. So it's still nice, but uh, you know, it's got all this construction going on around here. But anyways, thanks for joining me today and uh, taking this short tour with me of the uh, Niffenberg Palace, very interesting, a lot of history here. I recommend if you do come, come with plenty of time. Uh, it's a lot to see, a lot of ground to cover, which I wasn't able to, but I wanted to get to the main parts of it. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. If you're new to this channel, take a look around, see if you like it and stick around. Subscribe if you like, and I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace out.